Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start at the very least on my review of Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. So I picked this up after hearing it hyped up a lot on BookTube. I know there's also a movie of it which I've now got ready to watch. Uh, I don't know when I'll get to it, but hey-ho. I'm going to read you the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out my tabs and share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. So, Dane reads... For years, rumours of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barclay Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. But Kaya is not what they say. Sensitive and intelligent, she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home, finding friends in the ghouls and lessons in the sand. Then the time comes when she yearns to be loved. When two young men from town become intrigued by her wild beauty, Kaya opens herself up to a new life until the unthinkable happens. Mm. And this was kind of interesting advice from her mother. Neither low gas nor storm threat gave her the same edgy feeling as seeing another person, especially a boy. Ma had told her older sisters to watch out for them. If he looked tempting, men turn into predators. And then Kaya goes into town and she sees uh, another, like someone she knows, and the kid's mum is like, uh, Meryl Lynn, darling, don't go near that girl, you hear me? She's dirty. Um, Kaya watched the mother run her fingers through the curls, didn't miss how long they held each other's eyes. A woman came out of the Piggly Wiggly and walked quickly up to them. Y'all yeah, right, Teresa. What happened here? Was that girl bothering Meryl Lynn? I saw her in time. Thank you, Jenny. I wish those people wouldn't come to town. Look at her. Filthy. Plum nasty. There's that stomach flu going around and I just know for a fact it came in with them. Last year they brought in that case of measles and that's serious. Oh yeah, and then we get a character called Napier Murphy Clark, uh, who they call Murph. And I'm just like, Murphy Napier? As in, booktube nut Murphy Napier. Uh, and so she gets scared that the social services are looking for her. She says, I'm scared they'll pull me in like a trout, put me in a foster home or something. Well, we better hide way out there where the crawdads sing. I pity any foster parents who take you on. Tate's whole face smiled. What do you mean, where the crawdads sing? Ma used to say that. Kai remembered Ma always encouraging her to explore the marsh. Go as far as you can, way out yonder where the crawdads sing. Just means far in the bush where critters are wild, still behaving like critters. So, you know, that's where the name of the book comes from. I like it when books do that. I think it's quite clever. Oh, and she picks up her first ever novel, Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. After a while, she closed the book and walked to the closet. She slipped on Ma's sundress and swished around the room, flipping the skirt about, whirling in front of the mirror. Her mane and hips swaying, she imagined Tate asking her to dance, his hand on her waist, as if she were Mrs. De Winter. Well, we all know what happened to Mrs. De Winter, don't we? And so Kaya's, uh, Tate starts bringing Kaya books and uh, we get, her progress was startling. She could read anything now, he said. And once you can read anything, you can learn everything. It was up to her. Nobody's come close to filling their brains, he said. We're all like giraffes not using their necks to reach the higher leaves. Oh yeah, and then in the acknowledgement, she specifically knowledge, acknowledges someone called Napier Murphy. Again, it's Murphy Napier. There's my conspiracy theory for you. So there we have it. That's what I made of Where the Crawdad Sing by Delia Owens. Overall, I gave it like a week, four out of five. It was okay. Um, definitely overhyped, but still pretty well written. I think part of it, my enjoyment was a little bit hampered by the fact that I'm not too interested in like the area in which it takes place, but there was some pretty complex characterization and stuff. I like that it showed the dark side of society as well. So, I mean, yeah, if you've heard the hype about it and you're tempted, check it out. Um, otherwise, don't. So there we have it, that's what I made of Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you've read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.